Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin and I'm doing? And you happy too? How y'all living fam? It's Friday up in this beach, And it's the weekend baby! And uh, yeah y'all, your girl's handling business as usual. Look, I think I done passed by what I needed. I'm over here at Whole Foods. Getting my uh, apple cider vinegar. And getting some other little essentials here, little knickknacks and stuff. How's everybody's week been? I hope you guys have had an amazing week, day, whatever the fuck, okay? And uh, yeah, y'all, just kind of doing the same old thing. Been editing most of the morning and I needed to get out and take care of some things, go to the bank, get some stuff, get some cash out, whatever. Because we got a whole hell of a lot of shit going on this weekend. I mean, when I say our weekend is jam-packed, we've had to cancel one or two appointments just to be able to accommodate everything, everything we have going on. They're nothing major. They're not appointments that are major. They're just going to be rescheduled, but cray-cray, y'all. Like, cray-cray. We just have a lot of random stuff. We have a little banquet to go to um, this weekend. We have um, Juice is going to meet up with some of his boys tonight to have some drinks and hang out and that kind of thing. Um, they're doing like a little happy hour type of situation. Or it's like a late evening happy hour type of situation. So um, he's going to be doing that tonight. While he's doing that, I'll be out with my sister Manishka. We're going to go and do a little date night, go get some sushi and have some drinks and shit. Um, so Juice will have his own camera, which that'll be cool. And um, I'll have my own, the one I always take around with me. So that'll be neat. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be doing that tonight. And then it's a banquet tomorrow. My brother's pool party for his birthday is tomorrow. Um, so we're going to do that during the mid part of the day and then come back home to get ready to go to the banquet. We have training with Jessica in the morning as we usually do on Saturday mornings. So, um, and then Sunday we've got a picnic to go to. So it's going to be just a little bit cray cray in our household this weekend. So yeah, not to mention the fact that today has been spent really trying to um, also situate exactly when we're going to start working on the things we need to get done in the house. Because as you guys, I don't know if I told you guys that I probably think I did. I did, I think. Um, my Casey people so far, okay, we're crossing our fingers here, are coming up at the end of July and they're coming to St. Louis and they're staying at our house. Meaning, everything that we want to get done, not everything, but most of the things we want to get done in our family room and kitchen, like the painting and all that kind of stuff, and of course finishing off my beauty room, I've got to try to get that shit done before they come. Not that it makes a difference because they are my fam, but y'all know, you know, I want to kind of get it done. I want to get it going, you know what I mean? So, any hoodle. I'm trying to decide if I want to get that one or if I should get this one. Y'all know. We always get the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And I really need to get the big one and keep it moving since uh, we use it all the time. And I have been very religious about taking it every day, um, which is something that I was really fighting before. Um, but I am now taking it you know every single day every morning I know some people who take it two and three times a day um, a shot of it every every whatever every meal before every meal and I take it before every meal so does juice so I'm getting the big one which is $17.99 that's the big one right there $17.99 and we get the unpasteurized that's what you're supposed to technically get is the unpasteurized apple cider vinegar so there's gonna be some settlement at the bottom just FYI like you'll see it on this jug You'll see it's a little darker on the bottom. You can't see it very well in this jug, but you can really see them in the glass jug. You just shake it up before you take your shot. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, y'all. I am super ecstatic about the weekend. I have to plan out what the fuck I'm going to wear for the bank, but I have no fucking clue because y'all know. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't planned that shit out at all. But um, I have a dress I want to wear. I just have to figure it out. Also, thank you guys so much for the suggestions on the body waist trimmers or waist cinchers or the body slimmers or whatever the fuck. Y'all know I want to try waist training. I have a feeling I kind of have an idea of what I know I'm going to end up having an issue with. You guys know I'm short torsoed and um, tall, 5'8", but I'm short torsoed. So I already kind of have a feeling I'm going to have some thoughts on exactly um, how the process may possibly potentially go for me. I had already gotten a waist cincher and I got it sent, um, I sent, got it sent to me, and, um, not by a company, I mean I purchased it myself, but the size I got according to the me measurements that they gave, okay, um, it was the size I was supposed to get, right? So I ended up getting the waist cincher when I got it and it's supposed to be hard to put on. You have to potentially have someone help you put it on the first time just so you can get acclimated with it and it can kind of conform to your body. 
my fuck was I couldn't even put the motherfucker on. No one could help me get that motherfucker on, okay? So and I followed the measurements to a T. So I've got some thoughts on it. I ordered um I actually got another one. I ordered another one and it should be here on um Monday or Tuesday of this week so I will keep you guys posted on it but I do have some thoughts so um, and it's not a review that I'm doing for any company I just bought them myself but um, I will definitely let you guys know if you guys want to see a review just comment down below and say hey do you guys want me to tell you the thoughts on this stuff because I don't know if you guys are into that at all that being said I'm waiting on the next one so I hate wasting money but you can't return them they're undergarments so I was like but I really want to do it so anyway I'll tell you all about that when I get it um, what else do I need to get? What else do I need to get? Um, something else I need to get. Oh, I need to get, I know what else I need to get. I need to get some, um, of these. But, um, you guys know we take wheatgrass pills as well. And then sometimes take the shots when we go get, um, a smoothie. So, we're going to get some of the wheatgrass pills real quick that we always take. In addition to all the other vitamins we always take. So, let's see. Usually they're in this aisle. Let's see if they're in here. And if you guys haven't seen the bottle, I'll show you guys what the bottle looks like. It's supposed to be a hot, nice weekend this weekend, too. So I'm really happy about that. I don't see it. But yeah, I'm excited to hang out with my sister. Um, so that should be fun. Um, her and I haven't done like a let's hang out, just girls night type of situation in a while. So it should be pretty cool to hang out with her and just shoot the shit and catch up and stuff. Um, I don't see it anywhere. Hold on, let me look. And I'll show y'all. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show this to you guys. I still have chia seeds at home, which is why I'm not getting these. However, I wanted to show you guys the ground chia seeds in case you guys were wondering where we get them from. It's um, the Spectrum brand, and hopefully you guys can see it. I'm, it's not focused. Hold on, let me let it focus. There it is. There it is. The Spectrum ground chia seed. And you guys see it has fiber and omega threes. So yeah, those are typically the ones that I get when I do come here to get them. They are $10.99. And as you guys can see, there's like flaxseed, there's chia seeds, there's all kinds. The ones that I have that I'm still using at home are like these right here, the white ones. So I don't really need to buy them. But um, one of you guys suggested to get a uh, coffee grounder for like 10 bucks at Walmart. Thank you for that suggestion. And then just ground them um, ourselves. So that's also a really, really, really great idea. And I actually probably am going to do that. Just ground them and just pour them back in the bag and keep them moving. It'd be a lot cheaper than if I were to just buy. Actually, you know what? Let me look to see if it would be cheaper. I wonder if it would be cheaper to do that. Let me see. Oh, here are the, the uh, wheatgrass tablets. Um, you could take like wheatgrass that you could put in your food, in your food and shit. But we take the tablets, which are these right here, and they're not cheap. Just FYI, twenty six ninety nine. So. I haven't looked online to see if they're cheaper anyplace else, but I love them because I don't have to taste the grass. Ugh. And they don't give you like the burp aftertaste like fish oil does sometimes, um, which is nice. So, okay, let's see if there's a big difference in price. Um, for the ground, they're both the same price. So the ground chia seeds are $10.99. The regular chia seeds are $10.99. The ones I got here are $8.99. That's why I got them because they were cheaper. Um, more chia seeds here. Those are $14.99. It just depends on who you go to. You can get them online. There's a lot of places you can buy them where they're a little bit cheaper. So, either way. Oh, they have ground flaxseed too, just FYI. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to show that to y'all. That's really all I came here to really get. I didn't want to go hamburger up in here. Um, I just came up in here to get these two things. And then I'm gonna keep it the fuck. What would I say? Push it, nigga. Okay. Hey y'all, we have so much to do. I'm just like, how are we gonna get it all done? I got some quotes from my boy James, so he gave those to me yesterday. And now it's just a matter of us like kind of like figuring out when the start date's gonna be, going to pick out paint. So you're gonna see a lot of that on our vlog channel. Of course, I'll show you guys like the before and the after. Same with my beauty room. I'm still gonna do that video and stuff. We just haven't finished the room. But our intention is to finish it at the same exact time because we're probably gonna have them sleep in that room. We don't have the guest bedroom in there anymore or the guest bed but we're probably gonna get like an air mattress and put it in there since there's really no big furniture in the middle. And so they'll be able to use that to kind of sleep and all that stuff, so. Yeah, anyway. All right, y'all. Oops. Let me get out this motherfucker. Y'all, it's so funny. I am so accustomed to vlogging in public, but it's so funny to see when people stare. And I just keep on vlogging. They be staring like a motherfucker. I used to be like, ugh, and to like try to, you know, 
move in an area where there's no people and all that back in the day you know when I first started vlogging and I just I'm like fuck it now YOLO up in this motherfucker it doesn't even make a damn bit of difference because they're gonna stare no matter what I'm doing so it is what it is anyway got my essentials and I'm out this motherfucker what's up y'all so yeah I'm at the car dealership right now um for my car turns out there's a piece of um part of the back part of my car that I know when I had before that accident there was nothing wrong with that piece and it's actually kind of snapped um hold on right back okay there's a piece on the back of my car that I know was fine before the accident and um it's I mean when I saw it I was like ah this doesn't look the same and my gut kept telling me I need to come by and, and have them take a gander at it and it's um, it's nothing significantly major, but if you have an accident and someone hits the back of your car, any part of your car, of course the first thing you want is to make sure that you're good. You know what I mean? And but then secondly, you want to make sure everything is kind of copacetic and cool in the gang. So yeah, um, we gonna see because it looks as though um, it looks as though that that part um, they overlooked it. So I'm hoping that they take a gander at it and see that it was overlooked and kind of go from there. So wish me luck all right so got back from the dealer and um disregard how the fuck i look look as hot as fuck outside your girl don't try to be looking all cute when she's trying to run errands i've been editing all day and so and i'm not gonna have to get dressed or do anything until later on tonight so anyway i gotta do dishes and all that shit. we ain't gonna do them damn dishes today i don't feel like it Ugh. and i still have to edit my love and hip-hop review so when you guys see this video right here it'll be already up on my channel anyway so to give you guys a quick update, I was trying to talk really fast and quiet, so I apologize, it was like really abrupt, but um, the guy looked at the back of the car and did notice that, yeah, that's definitely not what it's supposed to look like. So it's not a significant piece on my car that would do any damage as far as, you know, anything where it would prevent it from running or any of that. Um, but it is a protective piece that helps with um, the latch on the back of the car. So <clears throat> he did say that it was... Um, uh, obviously not what it was supposed to look like because the girl who I was in contact with was like yeah they said there's supposed to be a kind of a gap there and I'm like no this is a tear from you know me having been hit but I wanted to make sure to take it in um, you know just because I want to make sure that it gets taken care of so I'm praying it's not a situation where I have to drop my car off again and they have my car for a couple days because they have to get the part and all that kind of shit it's just one part that just needs to be replaced completely and I'm hoping it'll give me no trouble I'm probably not gonna have time to do as much editing this weekend as I would like to because of all the things we have going on over the weekend I will We'll definitely be vlogging and I will definitely be putting the vlogs up as we speak I'm trying to catch up with the vlogs because I'm a couple days behind so you guys are gonna see vlogs coming out so hopefully you guys are catching up and checking them all out um, but yeah I will definitely be vlogging and so will juice over the weekend so those vlogs will go up as well but yeah yeah I have so much stuff to do I'm gonna try to get it all done y'all I'm gonna try to get it all done so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to editing because I have to edit this um, Love and Hip Hop stuff and get that up for y'all. And uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I will hit y'all in a little bit. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. And uh, it's the weekend, baby. Had to make a quick stop and get some Jimmy John's because I'm fending for myself tonight. So uh, let's get it. Check it out, y'all. Down here in Ballpark Village, about to hit up the hotel across the street. Full of function, but uh, check it out. Game is going on right now. If y'all can see that, well, uh, see a fan stand right there. Look at that little hole right there. It's a little little gap where y'all can see the fans and Cardinal game going on, and everybody up in Ballpark Village. Yeah, if y'all can hear that, that's we must have scored a run or something. But yeah, we down here. It's live downtown tonight. Shit, so. I'm about to get inside right quick and see what's up. What's up, 
up, y'all? Okay, so we were supposed to actually shoot while we were in Tanny, but you guys already know, if you guys have been familiar with our vlogs, Tanny is super dark. And I can never get good lighting in there. Yeah, we're heading back to the cribbo. We've only been out for a couple hours. But, so much fun. Got to hang out with my sister. Date night with my sis. Juice is over at uh, his little get together. And uh, about to head over to the crib. Hey, yo. Hey, sorry to get to show y'all much tonight, man. It was just too dark in these, uh, up in the uh, hotel and the, um, at the ballpark 360 Village. And over at Club Envy over here. It was just too damn dark to see anything with this damn camera. So sorry I didn't get to show y'all too much, but you know, we just over here kicking it with a couple friends, having a good time, hanging out, doing whatever. So I'm heading back to Ballpark Village, which is where I parked, so I can take my ass to the crib and get some sleep. Shit. I'm sipping on some water right now. Crossing, oh shit, with my ice. Crossing the street. Try to be Sandy home because I think she's still out with uh, Manush over in uh, Clayton somewhere doing their thing. So I'm gonna head on out. Hopefully, holler at y'all tomorrow. We got a little date with Jessica in the morning. So I'm gonna holler at y'all in the morning. <sighs> Ballpark Village right ahead, baby. Y'all can see that. Oh, wait a uh, hold up. Let me see if y'all can see this. Let me focus. Uh, that's Ballpark Village. That's what it looks like at night, all lit up and stuff. Ah, a long way to the car, y'all. But I'm gonna make it. And then uh, I gotta make it to the crib, get some sleep, cause your boy's tired. So I'm gonna holler at y'all in the morning. Got a busy day tomorrow too. Pool party, little banquet tomorrow night, and uh, some other shit. So you'll see. Manana, base.